Hey, what's up, Keith? Welcome back, man. <clears throat> Everybody, welcome to the channel. It's a live feed. I'm covering the uh, Kendall Milton uh, commitment. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna try and uh, try and keep it try and keep it live. What's going on, Bryson? What's going on, Alex? They're doing some talking right now. What's going on, guys? What's up, Barry? Can't do too much because I don't want to get my channel blocked. So, so right now, uh, quick background on Kendall Milton, five-star running back recruit, one of the highest in the nation, um, a really, really smart player, high football IQ, well-spoken, um, a commit that I've really been wanting to, to pick up for a while. What's going on, Mark? All right. If we manage to pick this guy up, man, it'll it'll definitely uh, yeah, 2020 class. Oh yeah, uh, it'll it'll definitely definitely uh, fill in some gaps for us in the future. We want to make sure we cover everything. I tried looking it up on PlayStation View, but I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off now. I mean, this kid, this kid is a beast. I'm gonna try and trying to get it set up so that I can flip it around so everybody can see, but it's not really easy to do in here. Having to do this in the bedroom because family's eating dinner. So, yeah, he's very, very talented. His his football IQ for his age is is insane. So, did we get another four-star offensive tackle? Yeah, we did. He was ranked number 14 in the country um, at that position. So, he's six foot, six and a half and uh, 325 pounds already. So he's a big boy. Right now it's coaches talking. Texas kid, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the offensive tackle we got was from Texas, I believe. Coach talking, so. And we probably got a minute or two more before it really gets it really gets into it. <laughs> Can you guys hear that sound okay? Ah, James, that little Caesar. <laughs> That's what's up, man. I think I'm gonna get an endorsement from those guys. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of difficult to do this like holding up to it one time I'm really hoping we get this guy man there's there's been a lot of kind of hints I don't think Ohio State is in the mix at all because one of the things he kind of let slip out of one of the interviews was about um, SEC football is really tough. And so at a, at a reporter immediately asked him, well, does that mean you're picking an SEC team? And he immediately backed up. He's like, no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> but it was, why did that comment show up if that wasn't in the, you know, his train of thought, you know? This coach is stacked, dude. Look at this coach. It is ripped. Coach built like a tank, man. That means he takes his job seriously in the weight room, I guess. Oh, no, I think it was his dad. That was his dad. So, so his dog nation is doing their thing right now. Fro yeah, I think so. I think it was. I think it was a Freud and slip, or however you say it. Freud and slip. I never say that because I don't feel like I ever say it right. A couple of minutes away. What time is it? Let's see. It's 7.56. So. <clears throat> so he's got the LSU hat up there. He's got the Bama hat. He's got the Georgia hat. I don't see the Ohio State hat, but I think there's enough room. I think there's enough room right here for it, though. Hey, while in the meantime, guys, go ahead and hit that like and thumbs up and all that good stuff. I appreciate it. It really helps. It's also tax deductible. So, 
black and white. And uh, this this entire month up until the the game starts, until the season starts, um, I'm going to be doing um, the thumbs up for uh, the the low low cost of free. So. Somebody says something. Our bedroom is a hot mess. I'm not showing the I'm not showing the bedroom. I'm showing the walls and the ceiling and our bedroom's awesome. What are you talking about? What's going on, Brett? Uh, it could be a big night for us. Yeah. Um, it could be a really big night. Because I think, I, think I think there's a little group of these guys that kind of run together. And I think they've already decided on where they're going to go and they've all told one another. Uh, if one of these guys goes to a different school, I'm scared you're going to see like a wave of those five stars all go to that school. I'm hoping it's Georgia. Everybody's kind of getting set up. We're getting really close here. Why don't we do this? Let's just keep the screen on this right now in case something happens. I'll take a few comments and. Uh, so we'll he's just going to talk right now, but. Um, I'm guessing you heard about the big four star line we got yesterday, Chad Lindbergh. Yeah, I heard about him right away. I was Sam Pittman, man, master recruiter, dude. I know that guy got a big pay raise, but I'm all I'm, I'm always wondering if it's enough. We got to keep that guy. Somebody's gonna somebody's trying to hire that guy as a head coach right now. I guarantee it. Is he the top running back in the 2020 class? Absolutely, absolutely. And it's I mean, yeah, we can't let him get away. And the thing is, is that Georgia's got a track record. I mean, the past. Like the past four seasons, we've had running backs. I think it's past four seasons. We've had duo 1,000-yard rushers. Absolutely, Sam Pittman needs a statue. Sam Pittman needs a statue, uh, a, a bridge named after him, a parade, whatever you want to give that guy. Ferrari, good with it. Um, I'm really interested in seeing what he's going to do. No. Exactly. Well, one of the one of the big things about getting him, if he doesn't pick to Georgia, who do I think he would pick? I don't think he's going to pick LSU because LSU is changing their play style away from being a running a running team. I don't think he'll go to Ohio State because um, they don't have a a seated quarterback situation. I think it's really between Georgia and Alabama. So if he doesn't pick Georgia, I'll probably pick Alabama. One of the big things about Georgia is that we run tandem running backs. Hey, what's going on, Freakazoid? Um, we run tandem running backs, and what that does is it shows these kids when they come in the door that we're not gonna wear all the tread off your tires. We're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna swap you in and out, keep you fresh, keep you playing, keep you healthy, <clears throat> and we're not gonna put so much of a load on you that we tear you up. So it's a huge, huge benefit for Georgia. Make sure to put those sheets in the <laughs> dollar bill. Golly. Who all is committing tonight besides Milton? I don't know. I just know that it's Milton right now. <clears throat> I don't think it'll be anybody else tonight. If we if we see something, then I'll be highly surprised. He's not he's not even up in the seat yet. He's standing in front of it talking. So when we get to when we get to the point where he's where he's gonna put on the hat, I'm absolutely gonna switch over. I mean, I'm gonna pan it around so you guys can see it. Some of you guys are probably watching on multiple screens anyway. Hey, what's going on, Beth? How are you tonight? Bulldog, Freakazoid, Milton is going to be an all is all dog, bro. He said he has for a while. Why you said it's Alabama and Georgia for him? Um, why did I say that? Um, LSU is going to a spread style offense, which is really not going to support what this guy wants to do. Um, Ohio State doesn't have a settled quarterback position, and if you want to if you want to show out as a running back. You need a team leader back there who's changing and calling the plays. You need somebody who knows what he's doing. And he it's probably not something he's willing to roll the dice on. They don't even know who their quarterback is right now. So can you say the name of the the hats again? Yeah, it's Georgia, Alabama, Ohio State, and LSU. Yeah, Ohio State. So I'll, I'll show you. Let me turn it around. So you can see he's got LSU on the way on the right, then Ohio State, Alabama's on the left, and behind him where you can't see. 
That is the Georgia hat. So we're getting close. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, do me a favor: like, subscribe, share. Um, what's up, bro? Come to the show. Come to show some love. What's going on, Pine Saw? Appreciate you being on here, man. He is all dog. I'm really hoping. What's up, DSGB? Like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, you found this in the feed somewhere. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Those of you that are in the channel, please share. What's going on, Pigskin Pete? Um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Just share it real quick. Only takes a second. Says he's going to commit at eight o'clock but we're getting close i think they're waiting on some of the media stuff to get set up and then they're going to uh then he's gonna he's gonna do his thing so for those of you who are new to the channel i do football content on the uga and surrounding sec teams i do cover some of the other teams from time to time uh, and i try to keep the content uh moving so if you're in here like subscribe share What's going on, Benjamin? Um, it's yeah. past the hour, but drama. Yeah, it's always how it works, man. I mean, these things rarely go off without a hitch. Not cool spending all Friday afternoon in a dealership, but to see the smile on K Milt's face. <laughs> so. So, there was some drama going on. We'll see what happens here, man. I got to admit, I'm kind of nervous. Kind of nervous. Keely Ringo might be watching. That's a good point. What channel is the selection on? Um, you can watch it here. Um, I don't know that you can watch it on regular television, but I know that Dog Nation has a feed. If you want to watch it direct yourself, you can do that. Has Evan, because Evan's committed? I don't think so. Uh, Nick Biaro one says, go dogs. Kylie Ringo is all dog. I, I believe it. I believe Kylie Ringo is definitely all dog. Don't be nervous since I source says he, he says he's a bulldog. Man, if I had a dime for every time I heard that. I, I hope it's true, though. Seen it on Twitter. Fall camp start Friday. Kylie Ringo is top choice to commit to UGA as well over Texas. He's still in front of the table right now, so if you're waiting on that, it's, he's still in front of the table. See, I'm going to show you guys again. He's just in front of the table. So he's not ready yet. Still can't see the Georgia hat. Maybe he'll move in a second. See, there's the Georgia hat right there. So. <clears throat> you can come in. Um, it, that, it's on the table. It's on the kitchen table. That stuff I bought the other day. Yeah, it's on the kitchen table. What? Yeah. Man, what what would what would y'all do? What would y'all do if y'all all of a sudden saw that he uh he like pulls out a completely different hat like South Carolina or something and puts that? <laughs> he just he just from under the table puts on a South Carolina hat. That'd be hilarious, man. So, he's still in front of the table, man. I don't know what the holdup is. It's, it's kind of crazy. You can tell he's anxious. Like, he's tired. You can tell he's anxious. Like, he's tired of standing here. Like, he's ready to be done with this. He's just like, come on, man. He's like, let's let's do this already. Essentially, Zachary Evans and Kendall Milton had the He's just, he's like, hurry up. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> OSU. Man, I hope that don't happen. <clears throat> I was a monster recruiter, but don't see LSU or OSU. Shoot water out of my nose. What if he picks USC Junior, then Feaster will transfer to Wofford? Probably. Alabama source says he's a bulldog. B. John. Is, I think that's B. John Robinson to Ohio State and Evans to Alabama. He already spilled his teams when he said he was going to ball in the SEC. Yeah, I talked about that earlier. <clears throat> UGA doing UGA things. I see. Congrats on the five star. Thanks, Falcon Fury. Go Gators, he says, though. Uh, what, what position does Milton play running back? Number one running back in the country right now. Getting close. Getting real close. Man, I really hope he picks Georgia. Excuse me. Kendall Milton Jr., not Kendall Milton. 
<laughs> Bijan is not going to OSU. We'll see what happens. I don't know. You can just like watching watching his reactions, man. He is just he's like, hurry up, man. KMJ. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Number one for me right now. <laughs> And I think, supposedly he told OSU he's not going, but I don't know. We'll see what's happening. What's going on, VT Dub? Thanks for joining the channel. I think it's so razor thin close between, in the running back situation, between like the number one guy, like the number six guy. I mean, it's like, I want to say it's only like one tenth of one hundredth of a point. I mean, it is so incredibly close. I mean, you can't really go wrong with any of those guys. One of the things that I think they've been doing a great job, one of the things that I think they've been doing a great job of is getting these guys to understand, you know, what the system's really like. That's one of the things he talked about earlier whenever they were interviewing him, is that he, he there was a, a specific type of play that he really liked to run and he wanted good blockers. If he's wanting that, then Georgia's definitely a contender because they have a freakish offensive line. Uh, selection will come here in just a minute. It was supposed to do at 8 o'clock, but you know how those things go. Top two, Alabama and Georgia for Kendall. Yep. Milton is 6'2", 229. That's crazy, man. A running back coming out of high school that's already 6'2", 229. That guy's going to – by the time you give him – by the time you give him a year in a training camp at UGA, he's going to be phenomenal, dude. He's going to be a big – excuse me, big, big guy. I mean, and you're also talking about one of the things they were talking about Milton is that um, he likes that UGA will throw to the running backs and that all of the backs at Georgia can catch. So it's interesting. <clears throat> Zach Evans to Alabama. That's a, that's a possibility for sure. That's a possibility. So I'm going to turn the volume up on this a little bit. Can you guys hear the volume on this thing at all? His dad looks like he could play right now. <laughs> yeah, his dad. His dad looks like he could go play pro right now. His dad's built like a tank, man. He's still in front of the table. So, hey, what's up, Tiger Raven? Thanks for joining the channel, man. I, I know, I know your team's not in a fight on this one, but I appreciate you joining the channel. UGA running back, you. When did that happen? There's no truth in that, sir. Especially if you look at some of these message boards. Running back you is Alabama. There you go. I You can tell this kid is so ready to be done with this. What do we know? Uh, Kyle, right now he's still standing in front of the table. I may be lagging behind some of you guys, so bear with me here. So right now on the table he's got Clemson as, as wide receiver you. I, I think that's a fair argument. Thanks, Pete. My source did say Milton to Georgia. We'll see what happens. So you got, right now, for those of you who've tuned in in the past few minutes, you've got uh, Kendall Milton on the table. He's got Alabama hat, Georgia hat, OSU hat, and LSU hat. But earlier, earlier in the month, I believe, a reporter asked him a question of, of something about football, and he made a comment of, like, you know, it's really difficult playing football in the SEC. And that immediately prompted a response from a reporter that said, does that mean you're going to pick an SEC team? And so he had to kind of retract that statement and say, no, that's not what I meant. But as one of the other uh, guys in the stream here just mentioned, it was probably one of those fraudulent, fraudulent, fraud, Freudian, however you say it. I, I, ain't no, I ain't no rocket scientist, man, but uh, I think it was probably some truth to that. What's up, buddy? How's dinner? Delicious? It must be because your cheeks are full. <laughs> He still hadn't picked yet, man. He's gonna pick here in a minute. I'm still waiting for him to get. As soon as he goes behind the table, I'll get really excited, but not yet. What if he's trolling and picks OSU? <laughs> Dude, if he if he pick if if he picks OSU, I'll be stunned. I will be stunned. Bam, I think is RWU. I hate saying that, but just not gonna be biased. Bama's WRs were pretty bad. I agree. There, those wide receivers they have there are all those guys. All those Bama guys are uh, are uh, NFL guys. What's up, not just Frox? Ain't seen you in a minute, buddy. 
He was all about OSU at one point. A lot of teams were until they talked to Georgia and Alabama. Can you call a hooker? What? Eddie, what, did, what does that mean? It's not LSU. I don't think it's LSU. I think with them changing their play style to a spread offense, I don't think you're going to see him go there. So, so, so we got like 60 plus people in the stream. If you guys would go ahead and that thumbs up for me, I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe and share if you would. I really appreciate it. it helps the channel. Uh, trying to get to 1,600 subscribers now by the beginning of the season. I'm going to try and set a more manageable goal. Should be able to do it, but we need you guys' help. So, see what happens here. Still waiting. He's dog, we say. That's what they're saying, but we'll see. VT does been been subbed up and liked for a while, man. I appreciate it too, man. Yeah, that's something else they were talking about. The, this guy, once he makes his decision, he's going to stick. And if they flip him, it's going to be really, really hard to flip this guy. Ooh, I got to rest my arm. I'll be able to phone up for a minute. Seems like Georgia can't ever get a thousand yard receiver. I think the last thousand yard receiver we had was like AJ Green or something ridiculous. Right, we'll come back here. We, uh, They're we'll, still waiting. We'll, we'll get some more from Milton there in a moment. That's why not, not a good Super audience. loud there. But we'll get that. Love you too, buddy. We'll get back to that. Here. John Mitchie is going to be tough this year to add to our receiver group. Yep. Where am I? Where am I at? I am in uh, just south of Atlanta. Yeah. Mark said he was blown away by how good Mitchie is looking. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's starting to sit down. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Uh, uh, looks that might be the case. Starting to get seen. There's a little bit of confusion in the room about something. So uh, I'm not quite sure what's going down. Then you're trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, a little bit of confusion. I would not want that guy's dad to stand up at me like that. Getting rearranged here and get put in the right place. Something tells me that we're only a couple of minutes away. Not far, guys. It won't be long now. Uh, Pickens will be a thousand yard receiver in the future. I agree. D Rob, in my opinion, could be a thousand yard receiver. That guy's incredible. He said it will have to take a huge coach change to flip him. Yeah, and Kirby's not going anywhere short of a car wreck happening. That guy's not going away from Georgia. He loves it here. The fans love him. Just a good fit. Pickens will be bad behind for sure. Yep. AJ Green is from your town. Legend in Somerville, South Carolina. I used to live in Somerville, sir. I used to live there. I used to live off old Charlie Road. George Pickens is, is a really good is really good receiver. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. We got phones ringing. All right, still waiting. Still waiting. All right, let's see. Looks like we're getting close. Let's see. I think they're trying to get everything settled down in there. Why would he commit to Georgia? Because Georgia does great with running backs. Uh oh, got a little, a little preview. What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Think, Kendall. Think. I got to get up out of here and go clear my head. He's a really, really well-spoken guy. Woo! He don't play, do he? Now, I'd like to thank Bob's. Uh, he's been coaching youth football ever since I was in kindergarten. Uh, didn't really like the sport at all, but you know, I stuck with it. He's been coaching me up, encouraging me, teaching me the ins and outs of the game. This kid's been playing football since he could walk. I am today, and when it comes to my mom, she's a powerful, strong woman. Uh, me and her have great deep talks about my tough situations, and she helps me make the right decisions so I don't get, you know, off track or nothing like that. And it's just great to have somebody like that that can help you through tough situations and help you come out on top and succeed. I'm, I'm a blessing to have life that I have and the parents that I have. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's kind of running around. So right now he's just riding around. He's got a waving that Georgia flag though. Look at that. Woo! Get it, cuz. <laughs> I 
I guess y'all know now. Commence to Georgia. Woo! How about them dogs, baby? Ha <laughs> ha! Go dogs. Look at that, look at that. Ooh, he dusted him. Man, he's fast. And he just run over one. Golly, man. That's what's up. Well, if you guys enjoyed the channel, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, welcome to the dog family, sir. Glad to have you. All dog. Billy was right. Billy, you were right, sir. I need to get in with you. <laughs> Ooh, better Georgia than Alabama. Absolutely, man. That's really cool. I want to. I still want to see him put the hat on. It's probably going drafted, man. That's only happened like one time in like 20 years of Georgia. I'm. I'm really waiting to see him put the hat on. I don't know if he wrote. I think he wrote this song. Big Spear Evans. Ooh, shook him. Man, he can move. Thanks, JJ. Felt 100 degrees today in Terrapin territory. It's too hot up there, man. It was only like 88 here. Oh, yeah, he's got a hat on. They didn't show it, but he's got a hat on. Let's see what he says. He said we're going to go get him. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the game. Then he puts on the Bama hat. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got that Georgia hat on, that Georgia shirt on, man. So there you go. So he said... He said Georgia does a great job of getting their running backs recruited into the NFL. They had two running backs last year in the Super Bowl. That's what he said. So that's why. Well, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We're really trying to get to that 1600 mark. And I know you guys can help me get there. Family really wants the UGA Clemson rivalry to continue right now. Oh, it will. Don't worry, sir. So you guys, the dogs brought home another five-star running back seems like they belong at georgia really grateful to have them so you guys are you guys are uh you guys are awesome for tuning in thanks so much i'm gonna be stoked all night about that man that's a big win for georgia big big win so he likes everything about georgia likes the academics likes the program likes it all it's a good win for us so so <laughs> I didn't know Uncle Lou was doing a show. Woo, man, that's freaking awesome, dude. Freaking awesome. We needed that bad. I, I think we need every five-star bad, though. That's just me. We did get a five-star from, uh, from California. We got a five-star from California. D-Rob. <laughs> Demetrius Robinson. <laughs> his dad. His dad's got the flag out, man. He's got a big UGA flag out. Look at that. That's what's up. That's awesome, man. Look at that. Yeah, that's right. Cover, cover them other hats up. <laughs> Boy, you know, you know they go, we're going to talk about that for a while. He covered them other two hats up. Man, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe we'll take a break from him for a moment. 
All right, guys, that's that's all I need to have on that. So y'all know what happened. Uh, Kendall Milton made the right decision. He picked the right team, came to the place that does the most with running backs, with two running backs in the Super Bowl last year. He loves the coaches, loves, he, loves the division, loves everything. So thanks so much for tuning in. You guys have a great night. And as always, God bless and go dogs.